Creating your first analysis using Oracle BI. I'm a sales manager and I need to create a new analysis for my sales team. The sales team needs to know how much revenue is being generated for our brands. I click Create an Analysis. I need to find and add the correct columns for the analysis. I want to add region, brand, line of business, and revenue. In the Sample App Subject Area in the Subject Areas pane, I expand the Geography folder. I drag Region to the Selected Columns area. I expand the Products folder and then I double click Brand to add it to the Selected Columns area. I double-click Line of Business as well. I expand the Revenue Metrics folder and double-click Revenue. I just realized that it would be more effective to include products in the analysis as well. I double-click Product in the Products folder. I want to sort this analysis by Region and then by Line of Business. I click the Options button for Region and then I select Sort and sort ascending. I notice the upward pointing arrow added to region. This indicates that region will be sorted in ascending sequence. I click the options button for line of business and then I select sort and add ascending sort. I notice that both sorts have been annotated with numbers 1 and 2 respectively, indicating the sorting preference. Next, I want to add a filter to revenue to limit the results of my analysis to only the top 10 products by revenue. I click the Options button for Revenue, and then I select Filter. In the New Filter dialog, I select Is in Top as the operator. Because I want the top 10, I accept 10 as the default value. I click OK. The new filter is added to the Filters pane. I want to add a second filter that will limit the results of the analysis to the Americas and EMEA regions. These are the regions of responsibility for my team. I click the Options button for Region, and then I select Filter. In the new Filter dialog, I accept the default value for Operator is equal to is in. I select the list for value and click the checkboxes for Americas and EMEA. I click OK. The new filter is added to the Filters pane. I click the Results tab to see my analysis. I decide that I want to see this analysis sorted by the highest revenue products first. I know that a sort added in the Results tab overrides the sort from the Criteria tab. I can use the caret icons on the revenue label to change the sort sequence, or I can right-click the revenue label and select the Sort Column Sort Descending Sequence option. I right-click the Revenue Column label and select Sort Column. I note that I can use this option to clear the sorts as well. I select Sort Descending. The analysis is sorted by revenue in descending sequence. I want to add another view to help my team better visualize this information. I select the New View button on the toolbar. I know that Best Visualization automatically recommends the best view based on the data in the analysis. It gathers information about my dimensions and so on, and then determines the optimal layout to present. I select Best Visualization. A vertical bar chart is added to my analysis. I know that the bar chart will help me better visualize the product revenue between regions for the brands and lines of business. I want to save my analysis. I click the Save As button. I ensure that the analysis is saved in the default Company Shared Revenue folder. In the Name field, I enter Top 10 Products, and then I click OK. Now that I've created this new analysis, Top 10 Products, I can share it with my team. From this analysis, they can see the most successful Top 10 Products for their regions. The most successful region is Americas. Pocket Fun ES for the Fun Pod brand is the most successful overall in the game's line of business. This analysis will allow us to collaborate and develop a strategy to increase revenue for less successful products. Thanks for watching.